It has been a year with just moderate gameplay, and my Xbox Series X controller is already causing havoc as you can see here. The thumbstick tends to drift even though I'm not pressing on it, and it can be extremely frustrating. But before you go out and buy a brand new Xbox controller, let me show you a few ways I was able to fix this issue which might work for you. Yes, the infamous analog stick will drift, and others refer to it as the sticky thumb stick. It's when your analog stick on the controller will move when you're not touching them, and these controls are expensive, so you don't expect to be replacing them so frequently. But I'm going to share with you a couple ways that you can help resolve this issue, and uh, I'll leave a product link for any of the items you see in the video, just in case you're interested. And uh, lastly, before we get started, please share, subscribe, and hit that like button to help support this channel. I appreciate all the support, it'll help me bring you more content like this one. Here's what you'll need to start the process, some cotton swab, some isopropyl alcohol and some electric duster, along with some Torx security screws, T8 or T9 depending on the screws, and a flathead screwdriver and some sort of prying tool. Alright so we'll start to make sure that there's no debris or oil trapped around a thumbstick and we'll be focusing on just the left side since that's what's happening with my controller. Try to grab a cotton swab and then clean around the thumbstick with some alcohol. For extra good measures, you can grab a compress duster like what I have here and use it for the next two solutions we're going to go over. Uh, the air duster is going to help remove any debris that couldn't be removed from the alcohol cleaner. Now once the controller has completely dried, it's time to test the controller to see if that solved the issue. If the problems still arise, let's move on to the next part of this video. So for the next solution, it's going to require you to open up the Xbox controller. Now keep in mind that the warranty will likely be voided if you proceed. To start, you're going to need some sort of prying tool and a flathead screwdriver would work. Focus would be on the texture grips of each controller on the sides there as you see here and you can use any prying tool uh, that would slowly work its way through and pop the lid open. Uh, I personally like to use the uh, flathead screwdriver and work the corners like you see there and it easily pops off uh, after one or two tries. Now for this next step you're going to need a Torx T8 or T9 security screwdriver depending on your version of the controller. Um, even a flathead screwdriver would work but you just got to be ex extra careful not to damage the controller as you're uh, working through the screws. Now there will be a total of four screws, uh, two on each side of the textured uh, grip area. And you can see as I'm removing a screw from this side of the controller, I'm using a flathead screwdriver instead of the Torx security screwdriver, which works fine as well, as long as it fits the head. Now that all four screws are out, uh, it's down to the last one, which is located right behind that sticker. If you put your finger, as you see here, you can feel the hole and you can take a screwdriver and puncture the it right through and then unscrew the uh, the last one. At this point once that last screw is out you can easily take off the front cover uh, to be able to access all the parts on the controller. Now once the cover is off you want to visually inspect the troubled thumbstick for any damaged parts possibly some debris that could be blocking or from easily moving around. Now what you want to do next is just remove the thumbstick just like you see here and we're going to do some cleaning. I'm going to rotate just a little bit to see if anything else is very obvious to me uh, but it doesn't seem like it. it might just need a cleaning. Um, so what we can do is grab a small brush like what you see here and loosen up any uh, debris or dirt that could be uh, causing a problem. Then take an ear duster like this, like an ear compressor, and blow out um, what you can around that thumbstick because uh, anything that would have been loosened would then uh, be removed at this point. There's a lot of different spots on this uh, thumbstick that I like to hit, different angles. Uh, there's little crevices and holes there. Uh, I like to just kind of work it through. Then, um, then I will take some alcohol here. Um, put enough just on the Q-tip so it's damp, so it's not extra wet where it can uh, start to leak. 
and I would then work the same areas even on the sides as you see here to kind of remove any goo or, or dirt uh, which the brush and the, um, the air duster didn't remove. Now as I'm cleaning this and I'm testing this and I can see that it made some improvements everything seems to be more loose so it might have been some oil or some debris or something that was on in there that I couldn't visually see so let me put the thumbstick back on it's definitely more loose. Once so I use the alcohol, I like to make sure that it's completely dry and, and knock off some more debris if possible. So I'll use an air duster and then blow through it in all the places where I've rubbed the alcohol on, just to be safe. If you want to be extra thorough like I am, you can pop the back of the controller off and then use a damp Q-tip uh, with the alcohol and then work your way in areas which you couldn't access from the front, uh, like what I'm doing right now. And that way you can uh, make sure that everything is clean. And then dry it off with uh, the air duster. And then you can put back the cover. Yeah, it's definitely a lot looser, as you can see. And there's going to be a total of five screws that you have to put back. Two on each side of the controller and one right in the center where the battery compartment is. Screws are pretty small. So you might want to use some precision tools that will allow you to properly insert uh, the screw tips into its head so it doesn't damage it. Now once you put all the screws back, you can easily snap back the, um, the grips on each side. Alright, that feels good, so let's give it a try and see if it works. Now right off the bat, you can see that the character is not moving all over the place, and that's a good sign. Now the controller seems to be more responsive, and it looks like the thumbstick is no longer drifting. I would say that this was a uh, success. And hopefully it worked for you as well. And I'm sure that you all agree with me that these controllers aren't cheap. So nothing's more frustrating than having to replace these controllers on a whim like this. But either way, uh, thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.